Hey guys, Shimmy here, back again. Back again with an older build. Um, found this one last night. I was out getting Fred Henry's kit out. I was starting them on this show that last night. It's the Cobra Racing Team. Uh, that The trailer and the Cobra. And the pickup. But I came across this one last night. And this is one of my earlier builds where I added the motors. I'll just turn it on a second here. There's Fabra Optics in it as well. Uh, Fabra Optics that's in it are pretty thin they're not much thicker than the human hair so you've one at the back here which is flashing red the camera's not going to pick it up just and then you've one you've one each on the punt pontoons or as you call them um, on the side here you've red one there and a green one on the opposite side but did add the two e figures do you resin figures i bought them separate i remember buying them um just got new figures with the kit and then we just painted them and set them in the gangway there or the doorway sorry um this was intent and task to be built. There's a red light inside there, maybe just pick up. I did build this intentionally if I did one till the search and rescue boat here from Revel. This thing's pretty big. It's 172 scale. It's about roughly about two feet long. Um maybe just over a foot and high height. That including the main mask. Try to can't trying to get the glare out of it there. So you get the wee smaller boat as well with it. Um the background you can see the landing pad for the, the chopper here that's what I built it for um, you can't get a load of PE sheet uh, the extensive PE sheet for this which is quite expensive I've never got around the build it or sorry balance it now as far as the bill goes on the boat I really only need to spout the hull well the the hull was one piece which was good to see that size um, so I really only got some painting done on it. I don't think I've ever showed it on the channel. But as I say, it was about seven years ago, roughly. Maybe a bit less. I bought this kit. I never ever went back on it. I just kept putting it off and putting it off. Because you've got to read through my mind to start building these bigger ships. It's okay doing the likes of the one on 700 scale. But likes of the bigger ships, you just have to be uh, tuned in, in a sense, to, to start building it. But as I say, I found this one last night, decided to take it out, dust it off, cleaned it up and so forth, checked all the mores and all on it, as you've seen now they're spinning away freely. And it's just working on a three volt battery at the minute, so the work does spin a bit slow on it. Well that was intense as I say to go on until the pod, the helicopter pod, um, and I finally get around to building that ship. Uh, so it'll be probably sometime later in the year I'll probably get up and get that ship finished off once and for all. It's a nice big centerpiece for this. Um, to have maybe on a model piece or something like that, I don't know, but we'll see what happens anyhow. So this is the 172 scale, I think this is the Sea King. I can't, I can't be sure now to be honest. Um, this is the German version of it. And I did paint it um, near enough close to what they're asking for on the box. Very, very close. Um, so let me zoom in a bit here. Two wee figures, I say, they were all multi-piece. Um, you thought they might be doing a cast of one piece, but you did put the arms and legs on, or sorry, the arms and the heads, legs around two halves, if you know what I mean, down below the kneecaps to the glued on. But either, he's holding the wee, like, wee notepad, and your guy's holding a, a make or some sort, I think it is. Um, so we just glued them there, rather well, than having them inside the cockpit itself. I'm just going to see if I can turn these lights out a bit more. Maybe we'll be able to see the fair optics. Hold on, just bear with me. Well, you can see the the cockpit lit up anyhow. And if you turn it off, you'll see the difference. That's it off. That's it back on again. Um, let's see. You maybe just pick that light up flashing on the back. Just the tail fin there. Um, there's also one on each side of the front of it here you can see flashing on that side the camera's not picking up in colors for some of you but i would say there's green i think it is yeah it's green and the other side is red now the camera's not picking it up here for some reason i think actually that is their own power source i'm using because it's causing the interior red light to flash fade on the next side so we have to change the power source up a bit um, you maybe just make out the 
The red in the back too as well, to shine through into the back of the fuselage of the helicopter. So again, that was some time down the road. Um, sorry, bright light um, before I can get back onto this um, particular build again. So I just thought I would show it just to keep it alive sort of thing. Right guys, all right, so as I say, next kit that I was starting, which will be on Monday, which is Fred Henry's um, build. I'll just show this now quickly. I did show it last night. I'll be starting this on Monday. This one here from AMT. So hopefully it'll build well. I've had my first year of the AMT kits. I know they're a kit to be reckoned with. Um, but it's what you make of them. So here's go guys. Um, new kit on the bench on Monday. In the meantime, I might just fruit away with the Harlem Maui and see what happens. Very right, 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 guys. So speak to us all later. Bye.